In this video, we're going to take a look at creating some underwater effects using caustics and the environment medium. So the scene that I'm using for this video is called pool.c4d. So the scene itself is pretty simple. I have some pool geometry, a little bit of a water geometry with a specular material applied, and I'm using an environment medium to create uh, some of this haze here to make it, the water look somewhat murky. So let's close this for a moment. And uh, I'm going to switch my camera to the default camera just so we can see what the scene looks like. So pretty simple, just a surface for the pool. I have a sculpted a surface with some wave like bumps on them. And then I have a very uh, strong area light facing down into the pool. So the power on this light is about a, it's set to about a thousand. I have a daylight node in here, but it's facing upwards, so it's creating kind of nighttime lighting. In other words, it's creating darkness. And then I have the camera kind of inside here. So for the most part, if you take a look at the settings, I'll go to the live viewer window and open up the Octane settings. I'm rendering with PMC and I've set the samples fairly high. There's still a little bit of noise in there, but I can sort of deal with that strategically. But the goal here is to get kind of a nice looking caustic pattern on the surface of the uh, interior of the pool. And PMC is usually the best way to do that. So for the material that's applied to this water surface, if I go to materials node editor, it's called water mat. It is a specular material. I've set the reflection all the way down to zero. So there's no reflection. And this is just so that the light goes through the surface without bouncing off of it, of course. My index of refraction I've set to 1.6, which is a bit high for water. Water should be about 1.333, but I wanted to kind of boost the caustic uh, lights a little bit and just make it very obviously kind of a liquid surface. Uh, but 1.33 is appropriate for water if you're trying to do something that's realistic. In the transmission, I just have a very light blue color. So that's pretty much it for the specular material that's applied to the water surface. As far as the medium goes, if I take a look at my daylight node, even though it's pointing up and it's not creating any light in the scene, it does have a medium down at the bottom. And I just press the add fog button, which creates a scattering medium. So if we take a look at the settings in here, I've lowered the density down to about 2.5 and the volume step length to about 1.5. So all of these settings are going to vary depending on the size of the scene and the effect you're trying to achieve. These are the settings that you're going to want to adjust first. And next I've added sort of a dim bluish color to the absorption and I have invert absorption on and it's a grayish color for the scattering. And then I've set the phase to about 0.6. So the phase is something that I would probably play with a lot as I'm trying to tune the effect and get the uh, get the look that I really want. So I just played a little bit with the uh, density. Also, I've set the area light power to about 800. So if take a look at the medium settings. I set the density to about 2.4 volume step length brought down to 0.18895 and played with the phase a little bit, just to see what other different types of effects that I could get. You don't see the caustics quite as strongly as you did before, but the uh, murkiness is much more apparent. So uh, a lot of uh, possibilities for creating kind of cool, murky underwater effects. You combine it with some depth of field and some more interesting lighting and objects, and you have some really nice underwater scenes going using Octane for Cinema 4D.